it is there. And so the, the people of course. But it is there this is very clever, I think. And that is why he was taken. He was perfection. It's as if the gods were jealous of the, the power of her beauty. And she died a, a sublime death, like a classic of opera. It was the 15th of May or the 14th of May. And it was the most beautiful day. The weather is not very good now, and the weather is good. It's more beautiful than any place. And Isabel was giving a dinner party the next day of 20 people. And she had prepared everything. The table was set. And it was absolutely extraordinary. And she was even rather proud of herself. And uh, so I said, I'll go to the garden for a half an hour and then I'll come back. And it was the most beautiful day imaginable. It was like May time. With a, the, the apple blossoms were mountains of pink snow that you wear. It was so beautiful that I didn't do anything except be there. And then I went back to the courtyard with this little black door and I opened the door and there was Isabel dead and on the ground by an earth. And then her mother came out of the house and her mother said, my daughter is dead. And then they came the ambulance and they took her away to the hospital for the wake. Because in Ireland you have a wake. And so they had to wake in the hospital, well I would, couldn't go was too much for me. And so I never saw her. So that she was beautiful and lying on the ground near an urn and the knee sat to She loved for me that she was sitting with her mother having tea. And she said, uh, has a Timothy made the courtyard beautiful and with the word beautiful she popped the beef in her mouth and choked to death with the last words of her beauty. It was like a classical drama, the vengeance of the gods would be jealous that she was so beautiful and so happy and they decided to <laughs> They've been to promise we're being too happy.